in the forthcoming local elections than they might have been before. Thank you, Matthew. That gives us a lot to talk about. And Johnny Palmer, you saw him on the film at the Riverside. He's with me in the studio. Uh, now, you own Wally Weir. Just tell us how you got involved in that and why you've become active in this uh, movement for cleaner water. Yeah, I care a lot about access to clean waterways. And when I bought the land there, it was because um, I saw it being mistreated by people. and wanted to do something about that and make sure that Wally is a beautiful swimming spot for generations to come. So how far are we along that uh, river, if you like, and how, how far are we uh, making progress? Well, we're downstream physically, probably about 15 miles. In terms of the progress of the activism, though, um, there's a lot of attention, there's a lot of talk, which is good. It's firmly on the agenda. It wasn't two years ago. Um, in terms of action, I would say highly limited, a lot less than I'd like to see. Are the rules the same for clean beaches as they are for riverbanks? Yeah, broadly speaking, yes. OK, so what do you want to see done? Where do you want to go? Well, I want to see our rivers safe to swim in. And fundamentally, I don't think we should be swimming around in raw sewage, which is a situation we're in right now. OK, you've got uh, some water with you. What is that? This is from Wally Weir upstream. We've had yeah. some rain the last few days, which means yeah. that their sewage treatment plants have been overwhelmed, which happens 14,000 times a year. It's not unusual. That's yeah. 107,000 hours of raw sewage flowing in a year. And this water, presumably, um, will have raw sewage in it. So if you went to the toilet upstream of Wally Weir in the last few days and you were to drink this, you might be drinking your own poo. And would you uh, swim in that? Personally? Swim in it? Uh, I'd be cautious. I wouldn't be drinking it, that's for certain. Yeah. And what do you think of Wessex Water and the bonuses issue? Um, I think it's fascinating. It's a bit like a truck driver who complies with the law by staying below the speed limit but is smashing off wing mirrors left, right and centre and still gets a bonus. I think it's kind of crazy. Let's get the basics right, guys. You know, Let's stop polluting our waterways and then maybe you can have a share in 150 million pounds operating profit you made last year. In fairness, they do score highly in most environmental protection areas. Indeed, they're, I would say, one of the least worst water companies. But the whole sector is pretty poor. Its environmental standards are appalling. And Britain's standards, compared to the rest of Europe, are, are, are shocking. What about Australia? Uh, oh, don't know. Pretty clean out there, I reckon. I was drinking from a waterfall just a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice line. Thank you very much, Steve. <laughs> Let's go and talk to our, our other guest. Vera, do you want to go first on this one? What do you think about Wessex Water's performance and the quality of water in the rivers? 